Believe it or not, you're watching an actual jet engine made with a jam jar by James Dockra from England. Boom! Now that's what I'm talking about. Jam jar bullshit. This idea could really take off. So how did James create his jam jar jet? Time for our scientists to blow the lid on this one. This particular jet engine here is called a pulse jet. It has no moving parts, no turbines, but it does produce thrust. Pulse jets don't burn continuously, but proceed via short, sharp bursts or pulses. James puts his fuel into the jam jar and then puts the lid on. The fuel starts to evaporate and mixes with oxygen from the air inside the jar, and some of this mixture leaks out the hole in the top. When he puts a lighter to the top of the jar, it ignites the gas and causes it to expand rapidly through the hole in the top, giving us a fiery, noisy pulse. When the pulse happens, gas is ejected out of the jar, and this means there's a partial vacuum in the jar. This partial vacuum leads to more of the fuel evaporating, and it also leads to more air being sucked into the jar. And when the fuel and the oxygen from the air flowing in mix, they use the heat from the previous pulse, and that causes a second pulse to light up. This process will continue happening over and over as long as there's fuel or for as long as the engine could sustain the heat and the pressure. And in this case, the engine is made of glass, so eventually it gives way before the fuel runs out and the glass breaks. James has taken a jam jar, taken out the jam, and replaced it with science.